A spaceship approaching a space station at a speed of 3.45 times 10 to the fifth meters per second. The space station has a beacon that emits green light with a frequency of 5.97 times 10 to the 14th hertz. What is the frequency of the beacon observed on the spaceship? Carry five digits in these calculations. Use the speed of light as 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And state your answer to five significant figures. And then B, what is the change in frequency? So we use the, the Doppler equation uh, for uh, when, uh, relative to the speed of light, when uh, something is much, when you're traveling much less than the speed of light. So that's the frequency of the observer is approximately equal to the frequency of the source times 1 plus or minus u over c. Now, this is, uh, u is the speed of two objects relative to each other. So in the past, we would have said uh, the velocity of the of the source and the velocity of the observer. No, not anymore We're, because light doesn't depend on the medium that it's traveling through. You just say, what is the velocity of the two objects relative to each other? If they're both moving, so if, if two things are moving away from each other, both are moving 10 meters per second, then the relative to velocity is 20 meters per second. If they're moving towards each other, um, it, it's still 20 meters per second, but you just change your sign. So a plus if they're moving towards each other, a minus if they're moving away. Okay, so in our case, uh, the frequency observed, F0, is going to be approximately equal to 5.97 times, uh, times 10 to the 14th times 1 plus U, it's 34... Thousand or 345,000 meters per second divided by 29979 with four zeros after it and uh, parentheses closed. And the answer I get, so the frequency was emitted as 5.97. The answer I get is 5.976879. Times 10 to the 14th, and so that's that's literally the answer for part A. For part B, it wants to know what was the change of frequency. So my original frequency, 5.9700000000 times 10 to the 14th. I just subtract these. All of this drops off, and I get 6870309 times 10 to the what? Well, one to 3 minus 3 off of 14, you get 11 times 10 to the 11th. Okay, so symbolically, uh, for those that like the symbolic stuff, the change of frequency is equal to the frequency of the observer minus the frequency of the source. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.